Hi everyone and welcome to the Starlight Realm by Jess. I am Jess, Jessica, and today I'm going to film another um, diamond painting blunder video. So this will be a little ongoing series until I get this project um, cleaned up. This is number two in the series. So in the first installment, if you didn't see, I had kitted up a small painting, this one only 23 colors, from um, a set that I got on Amazon in these pill organizers that I got at the Dollar Tree. Well, unfortunately, I didn't pay attention when I kitted it up, and there is a little gap right here that the diamonds can get through. So, as you can see, that is not all one color. So, I am going through, I've gotten three done, so I'm working on number four. And this one's kind of a, um, like a full one. So I already pulled out all of the, what I believe is number five. So now I'm working on, um, Three, which is a really dark, either a dark blue or a black, or black. Um, sorry, there's dog hair right there that I can't, I'm OCD. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to go through and try to pull out, um, blue is like a, the, I'm sorry, the blues are number four, which is like a navy, which are going to go in there, and the blacks are this number three and as I said number five is gonna be this like peachy um, um not really a peach it's more of a darker pink but not a mauve but not like a bright pink so yeah, dark peachy pink I don't know <clears throat> anyway so yeah, so I'm trying to go through these and pull out, they're kind of hard to see when we get down to the these blues and blacks, so, but I think I've already pulled out a bunch of black, this one's mainly blue, so. So yeah, so I made the blunder of, I, I saw another YouTuber use pill cases, I thought, oh this is really cool because it's super cheap, be an easy way to cut up small paintings, um, make them, you know, pretty portable, and um, didn't pay attention, didn't realize that there was a gap in, in between each of the um, you know divided days and so the <laughs> the diamonds can get in with each other and mix up so it's pretty bad so I you know had the idea to you know um, get them separated and everything and so that's what we're doing this is uh, video two of doing that um, I don't know how many will get done, how many it will take to do this. Um, as I said in the first video, I thought about just scrapping the project completely, throwing it away, but I don't, I don't like to do that. And also, I thought this was pretty good content for videos, um, because I think a lot of YouTube channels, um, whether they be diamond painting related or not, don't show you the the screw-ups, the blunders, the mistakes. So I was like, well, I'm a normal human being, a normal person. This happened, and here's what has to happen to clean it up, to fix it. So, um, yeah, figured I'd let you come on this journey of fixing it with me. Um, as I said in my last video, I think I might invite Sophia, my older, my two daughters, to oops to help us get through this um, let's 
see if she wants to come on a video. Um, she might. She might not. I don't know. It'll be up to her. <clears throat> I thought we could do some, um, some different, you know, things with her. Maybe we could come up with some questions. Diamond painting and other related, you know, that you guys might be interested in. So, these will just be kind of the whip and chat format. Um, I don't, um, as, as I'm sure you've noticed, I don't do editing. Um, I just, I don't think it's really necessary for what I do. Um, you know, so. I don't want to do like a time lapse where I speed this up and you, you know, are just watching me do it fast while some music's playing or whatever. I don't really care for that. Um, I'd rather listen to somebody talk and um, diamond paint at the same time while I'm watching them or or kid up or whatever. I feel like it's more of a friend that way, you know. So. I don't know. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own style and whatnot. So. Cool. Piece of trash. I have a trash tray over here to the side. It's one of the new Diamond Art um, clear plastic trays with. Um, like the sparkles, the gold sparkles through it. So, I decided, um, I watched one of my other videos back and I put trash like just over to the side on my dining room table. So I decided I'd make sure to have a trash tray um, going forward. I know some people do like a bottle all their trash um, as they go along. Um, I didn't start out doing that on any of my current paintings, so I don't have any of that going. Um, because people do like to see, you know, how much trash you're going to end up with. So I might do it on my next one that I get up. We'll see that one. See how tiny that dot. It's not really even a diamond. So that one will go in the trash. Um. But yeah, so I think I might do it in the next one um, that I get up and do, but I, since I hadn't done it, I wasn't going to start doing it on any of them. <coughs> Excuse me. I am having a lot of drainage. The weather's changed a lot, and it just wreaks havoc on my sinuses, so I have a lot of drainage going on. Um, I am taking some over-the-counter, like, Claritin and all to try and feel better. I don't feel, like, terrible. It's just all of the drainage making me cough and, um, you know, cough at, oops, cough at night. <coughs> Pardon me. So yeah, I'm dealing with that. If my voice sounds weird or if I do keep coughing, I do apologize. Um, I thought about putting a, like a um, throat lozenge or whatever, but then, <coughs> excuse me, let me take a drink. <coughs> then I would have to like talk around it being in my mouth I didn't know how well that would go <coughs> let me pause you a second okay sorry about that I think I'm okay now like I said it's just this drainage is killing me it's keeping me up at night Making it hard to sleep. 
which means I'm sure it's keeping my husband up. It was just part of the the life you lead when you live in an area <coughs> where the weather changes. So, um, let's see what do you want to talk about. Hmm. So this week's DACs um, that dropped, there was like Chameleon and um, a mermaid and a lady with birds and a lady with flowers. Uh, there was like a fishing um, uh, like landscape that wasn't bad. But, like, I just wasn't really, none of them, I was really like, oh, my God, you know, so. I just took another piece of trash out of there. So, I didn't order anything. Did you order anything? Did you see anything that you were just like, oh, my gosh, I have to have that. It makes my heart sing. Um, oh, there was also Betty Boop. I was trying to think there was another one. Um. So yeah, so I didn't order anything this week. I actually haven't ordered for a little while. Um, I want to pick up What Lies Beneath when it's back in stock. It's um, an octopus, and that's kind of a like our family out, um, like if we had a crest kind of thing. It's kind of our thing. Um, so yeah, so I want to pick up that one. I also want to pick up Husky when it's back in. Um, and forgive me, I don't remember the name of the um, the artists off the top of my head. I'd have to look it up. So I do want to pick up those. I liked some of the um, um, Halloween ones. Like the pumpkin one was really cute. The little cat was cute. Um, but I didn't pick up any trying to be good. I have a lot in my stash that I want to work through. And then of course also money is always a concern. I don't have unlimited funds. Uh, you know, I'm not a millionaire. So I have to watch, you know, because the kids need, you know, picture day uh, money and, you know, all kind of book fair money for school and you know we we do the fundraising stuff so of course we always have to buy a little bit of that so. <coughs> I just put those two black ones in the wrong blue one in So, you know, I didn't buy anything recently. I want to pick up some stuff, but I'm waiting. Right now, Hobby Lobby has 40% um, off diamond painting kits. So, I did look. Um, they don't seem to have anything new. It seems to be the same DACs that they always have. Um, so I don't know if they're not, like, if they're only going to carry, like, those certain ones. <coughs> <coughs> oh, pardon me. Or what, but they kind of just have the same ones. So. I did think about get, picking up some diamond dot ones that I don't have that I do like. Um, but again, trying to keep keep costs down, keep money, you know, 
Christmas is coming, so we're planning and have already bought a good bit of stuff for that, for the kids. Um, so, you know, doing that. We have to figure out our parents. Um, we're gonna get his mom a coffee maker. We did decide on that, because hers is gone bad. It's still bruised. <coughs> Pardon me. But it doesn't keep the coffee hot anymore. Like the bottom plate has gone gone out on it. So we're gonna get her a new coffee pot. Um Yeah, so I don't know what else we'll pick up for her. She's kinda hard to buy for. Um so You guys already buying for Christmas? You already doing all that? We start like in June. Um, we're right after the kids' birthdays in August, like once the second one's birthday hits August, because um, we like to spread it out. We did it one year where we waited uh, till like the last minute, and we did not enjoy that. So now we spread it out over months and months so that. We're ahead of the game, so to speak. So. But still a ways away. I know it's only October. Uh, today is October 10th. So. Still a ways away. Black. It's a blue. Hold on one second. I'm gonna pause you guys for a second. I need to wipe my nose. Alright, sorry about that. I figured nobody wants to hear me blow my nose. So. Spare you all that. Anyway, so how about Halloween? Halloween's coming up. End of the month. Have you gone to a pumpkin patch? you go to pumpkin patches we have plans this weekend coming up to go to the pumpkin patch with um, my friend from work and her family looking forward to that um, we're going to one that we've never been to before um, that's up by them so that'll be fun because we generally always go to like the same like the same one or a couple so yeah so we're excited about trying out a different one and this one that we're gonna go to has like they make donuts like you know they make their own donuts on site so that'll be exciting and my youngest Penelope her favorite food is the donut so she is going to be very excited about that. So we're going to go pick out a pumpkin or two. The kids have asked if they can carve their own this year. Um, 12 year old, yeah probably. Seven-year-old, no, no, no. <coughs> excuse me. I might let her scoop it out herself and all that, but I don't know about letting her carve it herself. Probably let her design it herself. We do do that. I have done that. I um, I told my husband I don't want to carve one this year. I want to paint one. I saw some really cute ideas on Pinterest, um, like a raccoon or um, a fox. I thought, oh, that's a really cute idea. So, I think I might do that. 
Sorry if you heard that. That was my water bottle popping. From where I took a drink of it a minute ago. Kids for Halloween. I think Sophia is going to be a bat and Penelope is going to be a vampire. This is what they've chosen. Bat wise, I was looking for bat costumes. I think I'm going to get her an adult small. Um, they have this really cute one on Amazon that um, it's like a hoodie thing. Um, and it's got bat wing, you know, sleeves and um, a hoodie that has like bat ears and it's like fuzzy. It's actually something that I would wear. It's super cute. And they've got the girl who, like the model wearing it with like tall boots and like no pants, like a dress. Um, but she'll wear like black leggings under it. And, you know, whatever tennis shoes she, you know, to walk around trick or treating. Um, We do still let her go trick-or-treating. Um, I know some people think, you know, there's cutoffs or whatever. Um, we always treated the kids that were older that came, like, you know, if they want to hold on to that for a little bit longer. I don't have, um, I don't have an issue with that. If they're out trick-or-treating with their younger siblings or with their friends or whatever, they're not out causing trouble generally, you know. So if they wanna if they wanna hold on to their childhood a little bit longer and go trick or treating, like whatever. It's not hurting nobody. I have heard people be like, Oh, they're too old or whatever, but I just I don't know. The world doesn't have enough good in it. If they just wanna go and get some candy, like let them. They're not hurting anybody. I'm only taking a couple pieces from you. It's not from each house. It's not, you know, the end of the world. They're not taking like your whole bowl and stuff. So, plus I see adults out there with like little babies, like baby babies that you're like, oh, that kid is not eating any of this candy. So you know that them parents are eating all that candy. So like, you know what I mean? What's the what's the difference really? I'm more upset with those people. Like, why are you taking your baby out in the cold? to get candy for yourself. Like, you just go buy a bag of candy. They're not that much. They really aren't, you know what I mean? So. I always, I never took my kids when they were babies. You know what I mean? Like, they had to walk, they had to, you know, be able to say trick or treat, all that stuff. So, I never, I never took them when they were babies. I dress them up, little costumes and stuff for daycare or, you know, just for us, like, you know, take pictures, but that was about it, so, last year we, um, dressed up as, um, characters from, um, the Super Mario game, video game. My youngest was Princess Peach. Um, Sophia, my older one, was, um, Mario. I got a Yoshi hat thing, like, you know, head. And wore it, and my husband got a Bowser head and little backpack. It came with like a little inflatable, inflatable backpack, and he wore that. So we we actually did like our first like family costume. I know some people do that like every year, but we just never really did. Generally, Michael and I don't dress up. We um. We just walk around with the kids. So. It's 
So yeah, so we actually did do a little family costume last year. We figured, you know, the older one isn't going to want to do that for much longer, probably. So... So we did it. Might just wear those heads again, you know what I mean? Look, see that one has like a little, oop, see, it's like a little, oh, that's not coming off, so he's going in the trash tray. There's another one of those, like this color, maybe because it's dark, it's a lot more of these little tiny, not a diamond pieces of trash. I don't know. Sometimes it's easier to tell when you tip them upside down. So if you see me doing that, <laughs> that's why. Because this navy blue and black are really hard to tell. Sometimes in the tray, the way the light, the way the light's hitting them. But yeah, Halloween. Fun stuff. I like Halloween. It's not like my favorite holiday or whatever, but I know it's a lot of people's. I know there's a good bit in the neighborhood that's very, um, very into it. Has a bunch of things, decorations up like the blow up things that have become real popular or you know skulls and stuff different different whatever so it's fun we saw some deer yeah yesterday one of them was like a six point buck and then there was like three does and um, it was right over by my mother-in-law's uh, we so when we went and picked up our groceries and brought them home yesterday because I do the pickup as I've, I've talked about before um, I thought I was ordering three tomatoes but I ordered three bags of tomatoes so I had way too many tomatoes. I was like, we're not going to eat all these. Um, so I said, well, let's take them to your mom. She likes tomatoes. So I, um, so we went over there and it was towards the evening and we were going to go get um, ice cream after with the kids. And so we took them over to her and we saw the deer over by her. Um, like I said, one of them was a six-point buck. He was pretty good size. And then there was three does, three female deer. And um, we didn't see any little ones. I have seen quite a few Bambies, fawns, whatever you want to call them, this year. Um, even in our own neighborhood which is kind of crazy, um, but yeah, so, did see some deer yesterday, we don't hunt, um, or anything like that, um, Michael has family that hunts, um, we're not against hunting or anything, <coughs> sorry, I need a drink, We know a lot of people who who do hunt. I grew up with people who hunted. Uh, my dad never hunted. Not his thing. Although he is a gun enthusiast, he owns a lot of guns, but he doesn't he doesn't hunt. So I think we're getting down to it with this set of of diamonds, guys. I think we might be done with this color soon. 
this one because there's so many it's taking a lot longer flip it see if I see anything you know what I mean the other direction um, there's one more Oh, that's not a black. <coughs> Good God. I don't know if I'm going to make it today. I'll pause again. I need to take another Claritin. Man. I'm sorry about that, guys. Just all goopy. So anyway, what are you being for Halloween? <coughs> Got your costume picked out? Do you dress up? Do you not? What are your kids being? What are your brothers and sisters? Are you a teacher? Do you dress up for your for your class? here I was using like my finger but I think it might be Did you see that one jump into there? Let's see, this is the problem. Man, it was such a good idea, huh? Okay, now I need to try and figure out. So this color seems to be that color. Blue we know goes here. What is the next? What is, the, sorry, there was one way over there. So four is blue, five is letter M, and it's like this like dark pinky, peachy color. Number six is V. See, they're like mixed up. Okay, I think it is okay. Yeah, it's more of an orangey, so it's this color, and this is okay. So this one's five. Okay, Which way do you like to hold your tray or have your tray in front of you? Like your spout this way or the other direction? I feel like I, I more often than not have the spout on the on the right. Is that a lefty righty thing? I'm right handed, as I'm sure you've already seen. My dad is left handed, only one in the family. Kids are both right-handed. My mom's right-handed. My brother's right-handed. You want to hear about them? You want to hear about people? So, oops. So, I, my mother and father are both still living. 
and are both still together 40 some years now um, and they um, <coughs> sorry they live in Fairmont West Virginia which is about a two hour drive from me Um, Robin and Norman, they have a dog, Memphis, he's just kind of some kind of mutt, so. and then uh, they're both retired at this point, it's that black. It is. So that's a number three. Put him in there where he belongs. Put him in there where he belongs. Uh oh, dogs take another through the bee. The bee run. Um, my dad worked for Department of Highways for a long, long, long time. And my mom worked for, um, well, it used to be American General. And it won Maine and Springleaf. It's changed names a lot. They're like a, like a loan place. Like, you go there when you have you know, a hard time getting a loan from a bank. But they also work with some different dealers and stuff like ATVs and stuff like that, so. <coughs> uh oh. She's really taking a zip. That's my one diamond painting she's running over top of, by the way. I think that's another black. Oh my gosh. Can you believe that's color three and it got all the way over to color five? Those little openings. So she did financial stuff, you know, she was in the, the lending part of the world for a long, long time. Since I think my brother was like a baby. So, they have paid their dues and are both retired. And so now they hang out with each other and the dog and, you know, do whatever. My brother is younger than me. There's only the two of us. I'm older. There's a five or six year gap between us um, and he is um, he still lives in the town where my mom and dad live in Fairmont he is now married has been for about five years maybe a little longer and um, she is a another black one. She is a doctor of physical therapy and they have a little girl who is two. She turned two in June. So I have a niece. So there's a little bit more. Oh, my brother followed in my dad's footsteps and works for DOH. So there's a little more about my family. I went to high school in Fairmont. 
That is another black. I'm gonna do another tray. Put him over there. I'm gonna wipe my nose again. I'm not gonna pause you this time. I'm gonna just hang on a second. Sorry, guys. I'm like real hardcore struggling. So, anyway. Uh, high school in Fairmont, West Virginia. I went to East Side, East Fairmont. So I was a um, fighting bee. Our mascot is the bee. Blue and gold is our colors. The band, um, I was in marching band, which I think I've told you guys before. Played trumpet. And my, um, we were called the Busy Bee Band and Honey Bees. So, that took up a lot of my time. High school. And then when I graduated high school, I did go to college. I did not do band my freshman, my first semester of my freshman year, um, cause my, you know, my dad had asked me not to, to, you know, try to focus on my grades, my studies, um, cause college is a real big jump, it's a, it's a, it's a big difference, um, from high school. So I did. I was always pretty much always the dutiful daughter. Did what I was told. So I oh that's black. So I black too. Oh that's blue. So I um, went to college. But, you know, I loved music, and I was really missing, I was really missing that. So I, you know, my second semester, spring semester, I went into concert band. They don't have marching band, you know, in the, in the spring. And, um, yeah, I just felt home again, you know. That was always my place, that was always my people. So, and then I keep, kept doing band all through college. I started singing in the choir as well. I took choir. <coughs> so, I did those things. I think we're almost done with this. This color. I think we're only gonna get two done today in this video. I don't like making them too too long. So and I did sing at church choir and I played in the handbell choir. Um <clears throat> so I did do both of those things through church as well. It's always musical. Um, I actually don't do any music now and, and haven't in years except for, you know, I started I started going to band boosters when Sophia got into band in sixth grade. So Ongoing, do you want this project to be? <laughs> do we want to do this like instead of some ribbon chats? 
You still want to see whipping jets. Well, we determined that number six is more of the orangey pink. Much more orangier than than five. So now we gotta look at seven. Let's see what we think seven is. Oh no, is seven is seven basically the same color? I do not see a big difference in those colors. Six and seven might be hard, guys. There's a piece of trash. Mm, I think that might be for another video, guys. Because some of these kind of look, but maybe they're not. Ugh. See that? You can definitely tell that that's darker. But is that the same darker as this? Like, is this? Here, yeah, let's do this. So that might be seven. We know this is five. Is this the same color? Got an orange one down in there. We think that's the same color of dot? We know this is an orange. Ugh. See, this is where it's gonna get hard. Those look the same to me. I think that might be where we close out today's video. Maybe I'll have my husband look. He's very good with color because, like, he, you know, did art in school and he paints models. Oh, those look exactly alike, though, don't they? Let's see them beside each other. Help us, me. Oh, those look like the same. The chart. Five. Six, seven. Seven should be like a deeper mauve. I mean, you can definitely tell the difference in the oranges. Like the orange. This is orange. But this is a mauve. Ugh. I don't know. That'll be a. We'll look at those later. All right, everybody. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed this second oopsie video. Diamond painting blunder. I think that's what I'm calling it. Um, please like, subscribe, do all the things, comment, ask me questions if you like down below. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks, everybody.